Hello OCR students, in paper 1 and in paper 2, your very last question in section A will be a 12 mark evaluate question, a very simple question. Remember you've got 18 minutes to do this question, 12 minutes for the A marker before. In truth these are very similar questions, some subtle differences with this 12 mark evaluate question, but in your mind keep things really simple. Once you've done your definitions, it's just two-sided argument and a judgement that you need to do. Nothing more complex than that. Two-sided argument and a judgement. Really, really simple stuff. Let's go straight into the essay structure here. So you'll be defining your key terms, all the key terms in the question, word for word, get those right. Then go straight into on the one hand. Straight into on the one hand. You need your points to answer the question here, so pick valid points which help you answer whatever the question is asking. You need two points now. That's a, a crucial difference compared to the eight marker. Two points now on the one hand, not just one. Now, so you're going to be writing two paragraphs most likely here. Both your paragraphs need to make sure that these are nailed. Remember that I've got my paragraph formation video uh, as an exam technique video on my channel. Go and watch that for detailed knowledge of how to structure a paragraph to nail these core skills. But what you're looking to do is to answer the question, so talk about your theory in serious detail, whatever point you're making. Seriously detailed analysis using chains of analysis, explaining everything in a core theory so that the examiner knows that you know absolutely everything. I tell my students to pretend as if you're writing for a French examiner or a French teacher. You know, that way you'll need to explain absolutely everything you're writing for them to understand whatever you're trying to say. Your application, you want to apply it. Now again, do you need to use the case study? Maybe you do, in which case your application can be from the extract material that's in front of you. Great, but if you don't need to use the case study, or if the question isn't really that relevant to the case study itself and that specific scenario, you need to have your own examples, your own application, but your application needs to be there to back up the points that you're making on the one hand. Okay? Then you need to evaluate. Remember, I've got my uh, lovely video on evaluation, all the secrets to evaluation, all the key tips for evaluation. Watch that if you need more help with evaluation and to know exactly what evaluation points you're looking for. But you want to evaluate every point you're making. So your, your two on the one hand points, you want to end those paragraphs with an evaluative comment there for sure. Then you go on the other hand, right? On the other hand, again, you want your points to answer the question. You're looking for two points again on the other hand. Two points, so two and two you're looking for here. Again, the same technique when it comes to writing your paragraphs. Detailed analysis, i.e. chains of analysis. Application, maybe from the case study, maybe not, maybe from your own head, depends what you need depends what's relevant and then evaluate those points as well towards the end uh, using the tips in my evaluation video as well. For both on the one hand and on the other hand you might want to use diagrams, fantastic. If you draw diagrams make sure they're fully labelled, make sure they're accurate, maybe apply on the diagram, that's a nice thing to do but crucially refer to them in your writing, explain everything that's happening on your diagram and then you'll score the marks, alright? Okay and then you need to make a judgement and your judgement follows exactly the same kind of judgement that you made in your 8 marker. You need to answer that question. Answer the question explicitly. You know, your first sentence should be your answer to the question. And then back it up with support. So maybe your support is theoretical support, maybe your support is application support, maybe it's from the case study that you get your support. But a simple uh, sentence or two just to support why you've answered the question that way. And always think whether you need to use the case study or not. The way the question is worded will make it very clear if you do or not. So that's the 12 marker, 80 minutes should be an absolute breeze to get this done, two and two, on the one hand, on the other hand, with a judgement, absolute gift, easy. I'll see you all for the next question, stay tuned for that video.